Hi guys, this is fifth grade, chapter two, lesson nine, on problem solving and division. So we are going to do a couple of them, and then I want you to try number four alone. Uh, so we're going to start at number two. These look a little bit confusing until you get to know them, and then they're very helpful, okay? Just a, a visual representation of what we're doing here, okay? So. I know that my 11s are just going to be double digits. So 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So I'm not going to write down my multiples over here because I don't think I'm going to need them. Okay, so 11 into 2 is not going to happen. Okay, 11 into 26 is going to happen two times. Well, 2 times 11 is 22. If I subtract, I get 4. Now, 4 is smaller than 11, so I'm going to bring down my other 4. Okay, 11 goes into 44. Four times, which is 44, I subtract, I get zero. So that means that each one of these boxes over here is worth 24. Okay, so where it says Hallie has 10 times the pages to read for her homework assignment as Janet, altogether they've read 264 pages. How many pages does each girl have to read? So that means that Janet only has 24 pages. Okay, so Janet is 24, and Hallie is going to have 24 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I love multiplying by 10 because it means that all I have to do is take the original number and put a zero on the end. So Hallie has 200 and 40 pages okay so just remember that whatever you get for your initial division goes in each one of those boxes each one of them is going to be worth 24 in this case okay all right so on to number three number three says hank has 48 fish in his aquarium he has 11 times the number of um Sorry, he has 11 times as many tetras as he does guppies. How many of each type of fish does Hank have? So I'm going to write tetras and gumpies, guppies down here. I'm going to write gumpies. Oh my goodness, Miss Leah. Okay, because this is going to be our final answer. This is what it wants to know. Okay. In the meantime, I have to find out how much each one of these boxes is worth, okay? I know that he has 11 times as many peppers as guppies, so I wrote 11 boxes in one because of one times 11 is 11, okay? So I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna do my first bit of division. So 12 isn't gonna go into four, but it'll go into 48 four times. That means that each one of these boxes is worth four, okay? So that means guppies, he has four, that's easy. Right? Well, Tetris, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11 times four, which we know is 44. So he has 44 Tetris. Okay? Number four, you guys try and do that. You totally can. I have faith. Okay? I know they look confusing at first. You guys will get used to them, I promise, okay? Our lesson check, you guys are going to do that yourself. You guys can totally do those too, okay? So you have three problems to do on your own. We are going to go down and do the spiral review, okay? Now, the spiral review, I could have set it up a couple of different ways, but I kind of did it the way that we're doing it today, where, here we go, okay? So it says, Janine is twice as old as her brother, Mark. She is two times as many boxes as him, that's twice as old, okay? If the sum of their ages is 24, how old is Jean? So that means three boxes, we're gonna divide the 24 by three, okay? Well, three is not gonna go into two. Three will go into 24, well I know that eight times three is 24, okay? So each one of these boxes is worth eight, okay? Just wants to know how old Jeannie is. Well, Jeannie is eight and eight, which is 16. So 16 years old. Oh, to be young again. Okay, 
number four, guys. Okay. Um, number four on Spiral Reviews is Larry is shipping nails that weigh a total of 53 pounds. Okay. He divides the nails equally among four shipping boxes. How many pounds of nails does he put in each box? It tells us he divided. He divided the nails into four shipping boxes. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So four will go into five. One times. One times four is four. Subtract. Get one. Okay. One is smaller than four, so I can bring down my three. Four will go into three, or to, sorry, to 13, three times. That's 12, okay? Subtracting at one, okay? Now, I need to carry out my box a little bit and put a decimal and move it up, okay? Because I need to add a zero. Bring that zero down, okay? Four will go into 10. Two times, two times four is eight. Subtract, get two. Okay, and do that one more time. Okay, add a zero, bring it down. Four will go into 20. Five times, five times four is 20. Subtract, get nothing. So that means, this is how many pounds of nails does he put in each box? Now, you can write out pounds. I like to write LBS because it's short for pounds. Okay? Pause it. Do whatever you need to do to make sure that you're showing your work and labeling. Okay? It's important. All right. We're going to go to number five, where it says, Annie plants six rows of small flower bulbs in a garden. She plants 132 bulbs in each row. Oh, my goodness. Miss Leah did it again. How many bulbs did she plant? Well, Miss Leah messed up. She's going to plant 132 bulbs in each of six rows. And Miss Leah had the one math one. Okay. All right. Six times two, 12. Six times three, 18. Plus one is 19. Carry that one. Six times one is six. Plus one more is seven. 792 bulbs. Okay. Label it, guys. Okay. So how many bulbs does Annie plant? 792 bulbs. See, these four problems trip me up sometimes too. Okay. All right, number six says, next year, four elementary schools will each send 126 students to Bedford Middle School. What's the total number of students the elementary school will send to the school? Well, four schools are each going to send 126, so we just need to multiply. Okay, four times six is 24. Carry our two. Four times two is eight, plus two more is 10. Carry our one. Four times one is four, plus one more is five. 504 students. How many students will the elementary school send to the middle school? 504 students. All right, guys, that was 2.9. Come back for chapter three.